Myself Chakras, episode 90. Try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. The seven chakras, swirling vortices of energy, positioned throughout our body from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. For thousands of years, this ancient wisdom has been passed on from master to disciple. What are the functions of these energy centers? And could these chakras help you unlock your destiny and find your true purpose? Welcome to My 7 Chakras. And now, your host, Aditya Jai Kumar. What's up, action takers? AJ here, and you are listening to My 7 Chakras, your hub for insights, advice, and tips that will inspire you and help you zoom towards your goals. And no matter where you are at this very moment, whether you're in the bus, in the metro, on a holiday, or at home, I know one thing for sure, that you are determined to make a change in your life and that you are committed to not staying where you are. And for that, I salute you. I know it's challenging. It's hard changing your life because with every new day, comes some ups and some downs but realize this sunrise always follows the darkest part of the night without fail and as you're heading towards your journey i'm sure that you would want to learn some new habits some new practices and some skills and i want to help you get there maybe you want to learn yoga or meditation or reiki it can be anything i want to know what's on your mind so that i can help you learn these new skills and overcome your current challenges and that's why i'm currently running a short survey called the human revolution 2016 survey which contains just one question what is your single biggest frustration or passion when it comes to alternative healing to take part all you have to do is visit our website that's my 7 forward slash survey that's my 7 forward slash survey write down your responses i recommend that you write your heart out and then hit submit so help me help you achieve your goals and your vision. And today, Action Takers, I am excited to bring you our featured guest, Julie Phillips. So Julie, are you ready to inspire? Absolutely, AJ. Awesome. So Julie Phillips became a wellness educator and coach over 15 years ago after a life-threatening health scare. She educates and empowers people about natural health truths and breakthroughs, including hydration. Julie is the founder and owner of We Offer Wellness. Wow! simplified. So Julie, I've given our listeners a mini intro, but take about a minute and tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, thank you. I used to be a leader in the telecommunications computer industry and a personal scare related to two sets of abnormal cells led me to natural health and wellness. So I feel like it is my purpose and it definitely is a my passion that burns in my belly to help educate and empower others. And I earned over the last 15 years, I've earned a lot of certifications in wellness. A couple of examples are certified professional of natural health sciences, and that's a wellness educator and coach. Another one is kind of unique. I'm a certified molecular hydrogen advisor, which you may get to learn a little bit about what that means. It's related to hydration and health. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of teaching, AJ, all over the country, and definitely we have some excellent things to share with the listeners on this call. Absolutely. And thanks a lot for that warm intro. I am really looking forward to today's topic. Today's topic is about water, hydration, good water, bad water, and something that is so basic to our survival. About more than 75% of the earth is full of water. We can't even imagine not going without water for even a couple of hours or even days. And uh, we're going to learn more about how we can be more mindful about our consumption of water and how that can really transform our life. So in other words, I can't wait to begin today's interview. But in order to set the tone for today's meeting, we need your help to light a spark of inspiration with the help of some carefully chosen words. So Julie, are you ready? I am ready. What is your favorite inspirational quote? And give us one example of how you apply this quote to your life. 
My favorite quote is, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. And that's from Maya Angelou. And in all these 15 plus years of teaching and coaching wellness and natural health, I have always taught for free. I coach for free. I coach remotely also. I often am giving away different types of nutrients to people for free. And what's exciting, AJ, is that many, many countless people encounter me because they're concerned about their wellness in some way. And when they receive loving education and caring and assistance and don't even have to pay for it, it brightens up their day and they often turn their life around. And now instead of cloudy life, they now may have a bright and sunny life. And then what's really neat is then they turn around often and try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. So it's kind of pay it forward. So as you learn these wonderful things AJ is teaching you, a great thing you can do is share it with others. Absolutely. I think this is a really apt quote for the season that we're in. We're heading towards spring and then towards summer, which is really beautiful. Sunshine is out. And uh, a lot of people, me, you, a lot of people have challenges in one way or another. And the assumption is that you have to be an expert to really give a person a solution. But even if you know one tip, one phrase, one word, one paragraph of something that uplifts, inspires and motivates somebody, just try to be a rainbow in that person's cloud. Add some color. So the question is, who's cloud? will you be a rainbow for and whose life will you brighten and add some color to thanks a lot for sharing that julie i love it wonderful so let's dive in why is hydration so important if we were well hydrated roughly three-fourths of our body would be water yet approximately 75 percent of americans are considered dehydrated and over 50 percent chronically dehydrated everything in the body requires water our water supply is extremely tough toxic. We're so unaware of how many toxins are in the different forms of water we drink. And the toxins in the water really interfere in multiple ways with the water getting inside of our cells. So things will cleanse and function properly. So we don't want to just drink water and urinate and be kind of a pass through. It's very crucial topic. If you get well hydrated, so many things can start functioning properly. So I love the fact that you mentioned that everything in our body requires water and yet according to study, according to research, a lot of people are dehydrated and we're going to learn more about that. But I noticed on your website, you talk to people and educate people about hydrogen enriched water. So what is the importance of molecular hydrogen in water? Well, excellent. First, I want to bring us back to some people have heard there are very special places in the world that have what the scientists call healing waters. Mm -hmm. And these people have been studied for so many years to try to figure out why do these people come live over the age of 100 and they're still very healthy. They said it isn't just their diet and lifestyle. It isn't just pure water. There must be something special in their water besides the minerals. And the answer was something called molecular hydrogen. And that's what we said in the beginning I was certified in. Um, And so molecular hydrogen, it turns out, can actually be in these healing waters created because of a glacier type effect. But in our water, I drink water water every day that is not only pure, but it also has a lot of this molecular hydrogen in it. So I will just kind of paint a picture in your mind. Picture a water molecule. We all know that water is H2O Mm -hmm. and O is the oxygen is a big circle. So picture in your mind a big circle. That's the oxygen. And then picture two little circles, one on the left, one on the right, each attached to the oxygen, but not to each other. Those are hydrogen atoms. That's what water is and we need it to hydrate. But if you use a simple scientific process. There's like a little machine that can take, use electrolysis, basic chemistry, and it can take some of those little H's, separate them from the O and connect them, bond them directly to each other. That is what molecular hydrogen is. And when it's dissolved into our pure drinking water with the natural minerals, molecular hydrogen has been proven with over 600 clinical studies that name over 150 human diseases that it's proven to help, such as diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, autism, chronic inflammation. So drink excellent water and watch your health change is just unbelievable. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm sure a lot of people have the same question on their minds. Why do some people live beyond 100? And it's so intriguing that you mentioned that it's because of molecular hydrogen in the water, H2O, as a lot of people might know. And if you don't know, it's fine. You don't have to be a chemist expert in this. Oxygen is the big circle. The hydrogen are two smaller circles on either side of that large ball of oxygen. And that's normally how it is. But with the machine, as you mentioned, you're able to join the two small balls, the two small hydrogen hydrogens to one another. Is that correct? That's absolutely perfect. And when that is dissolved into the pure drinking water that comes out of the machine, then that is what produces tremendous health benefits in every single organ and system in the entire body. And it does something else very magical. There are certain types of situations in all of our bodies called damaging free radicals. These are little atoms that are missing an electron, so they're not happy campers and they're looking to who can I rob to go get one. (laughs) So these are the bad guys. Well, molecular hydrogen is phenomenal because it will only take care of, it's a very powerful antioxidant, comes in the drinking water this way, and when it resolves the bad, not the helpful, there are helpful free radicals, so it's selective and only goes after the bad guys, guess what it creates in our body? Extra, brand new water we didn't even drink. Well, these bad free radicals are what are prematurely aging us, so how awesome that the hydrogen goes in our body, can be used for all these health benefits, and it can take care of those bad guys that are all over the body. So it's it's actually a kind of profound that in 15 years, no one ever taught me that mm. until in the last year and a half. Wonderful. So to break it down, you mentioned there are some free radicals. Some of them are good, but some of them really cause the aging factor. And this dissolved molecular hydrogen is able to eliminate or get rid of that. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. That's how anti-aging, the buzzword in in wellness now is (laughs) anti-aging. And for it to go in there and provide the hydrogen to do the health functions and then also be addressing only the harmful free radicals producing brand new water is really like icing on the cake. Wonderful. Now, let's take a few steps back. How did you actually get into this practice? What were you doing before you embarked on this wonderful journey? Well, it's kind of funny. It's a surprising answer. I used to be the lead computer person for a very large, well-known telecommunications company trying to establish across 13 companies, how are we going to build standard software systems, computer systems? And I went to the get a routine exam and they said, oh, we need to biopsy some lesions here. You have collapsed walls around your nucleus, Julie. And then when the other tests came back, they said you have a different kind of abnormal cells. So I was very upset about having two sets of abnormal cells. And they said, don't panic. Don't do anything different, Mm -hmm. Julie. Come back in four months and maybe both sets your bad cells will go away. Well, I came back in four months and they said, very bad news. Both sets of your bad cells got much, much worse. You are now aged beyond your years internally. And we believe you will be getting cancer and there's nothing we know you can do to prevent it. So it's imperative Mm -hmm. you come in in four months to start treatments early. So I was pretty upset, as you can can imagine. So I said a little prayer, and I found wellness and natural health the very next day. I kid you not. And I started studying like a, obsessed with learning about this to save my life. And I never stopped learning. So when I went back, um, I'll, I'll share with you a little bit later more details about this. But when I went back, see the doctors, they were shocked at my results, totally shocked at not only about the abnormal cells that I used to have in both places, but all the other many health improvements, 16 unrelated health improvements, like my hair didn't fall out all the time anymore. I I wasn't allergic with the mucus thing in my throat. So that motivated me, AJ, that I need to get out there and educate and empower as many people as I can. Now, Julie, I got to be honest here. As I sip from my wonderful bottle of water, I agree that we all know that drinking water is important. And without water, we can't really survive. It's the most basic of necessities, but at times we might forget. So based on your experience, how bad is the situation? Is water or is bad water 
hurting our health and well-being? Well, I really am very sad to share how much it is hurting our health and well-being and where most of us are completely unaware. The plastic bottle situation is very sad. And when they make plastic bottle waters, they start with a little chunk of plastic, heat it into the shape of the bottle and fill it with water without letting it properly cool. They cannot afford to let these empty bottles sit around for multiple days. And therefore, the the, uh, German researchers did a study study of 18 of the most popular plastic bottled water brands, and each of the 18 brands had over 24,500 different chemicals, which not only can affect our health, but they also hinder hydration getting inside of our cells two different ways. They can close up the channels, they can clump together the molecules so they can't get inside the channel. Mm -hmm. So the other major thing that this same exact study found was also shocking that we have something called hormone receptors, female and male hormone receptors in our body. And it hindered the female, generally thought of as female type, 60% activity and the male type, 90%. And I was taught, AJ, from when I first got into natural health 15 years ago, they said, Julie, you're worrying about your abnormal cell thing. Well, when you drink out of these cheap plastic bottles, the toxins that come from the plastic, they're not real hormones hormones, but they go into our hormone receptor site and can signal growth. So if I was a 13-year-old girl, I could see, you know, Mm -hmm. creating real hormones like estrogen. It can signal growth of her body to look more like a woman. But in us, it can signal growth of tumors. It goes in there. It doesn't fit perfect, but it goes click. So it's very, very toxic to drink plastic bottle waters. And therefore, the same research study said, okay, let's test some pure tap water and see if that hinders the hormone receptors in men and women. And the answer was not a bit. So that was great, great news. So we want to get the very best tap water filtered that we can possibly do. And then we want to get molecular hydrogen dissolved into it. So that's the concept and keep the natural minerals. Some of the water machines, they'll take away your good minerals. And then now that water you're drinking can go in and try to steal some of your own minerals and leave you with health problems like irregular heartbeat and things. Right. So the situation that you just presented right now can be a bit challenging because when somebody is thinking of hydrating themselves, you know, a person wants to get some good quality water thinks about some glacier water and you know good quality water what comes to mind is the mineral water available packaged in a plastic bottle and i've heard some people say plastic bottled water should be avoided as you mentioned some people say not all plastics are bad so based on your experience are all plastic bottles made equal And if that is the case, what is the solution really? Is it just tap water? Okay, very good question. Now, when all these years I've been in natural health, when I didn't understand how plastic bottle water was made, they would all teach us, don't leave your plastic bottle water sitting in your car to get warm because now it'll leach more toxins into the water from the plastic. Mm -hmm. So they told everybody, turn your little bottles over and there's a triangle on the bottom with a number in it. And most of the inexpensive plastic bottle waters, like the 17 ounces, they have a recycle one in that triangle, meaning it's the cheapest plastic leaching Mm -hmm. these fake hormone type things and other toxins into the water. And so people would say, okay, if you're going to do plastic and carry water around in it, at least turn it over and look for a seven where it's a heavier plastic, where if you do leave it in your car or something, it isn't going to leach as much. But I personally don't even carry any of my excellent water around in plastic. I have an awesome little glass bottle mm-hmm. with a protective sleeve on it. I can throw it on the ground. It won't break. That's my first choice instead of even stainless steel. But yes, not all plastics are created equal. So let's dive a little bit into the solution. What are some of the benefits of really changing our water drinking habits? Now, if you could break it down into short term and then long term as well. Okay, very good. If we change our drinking water habits and start giving the amount of water that is suggested by almost everyone in wellness is take your body weight. So maybe your body weight is 180 pounds, divide it in half and go for 90 ounces of pure water throughout the day, unless you're an extreme athlete and you may need more. So if a person was 300 pounds, they say that person probably wouldn't go for 150 ounces because they might overdo it. Mm -hmm. And you can actually 
actually flush your trace minerals out, which are needed by the body, including those trace minerals help escort the water in the cell. So what do I do when I first wake up? I know my body's dry from all night. So I'll drink at least two glasses of pure water when I get up. And then I drink more between the meals rather than right at the meals. So I drink maybe half hour before the meal and I wait at least an hour after so I don't dilute my digestive juices. But if people start hydrating well, AJ, very quickly within the same day or a few days up to a week, they might notice changes in their energy, their sleep or their discomfort level. And if they start hydrating longer term than that, and especially if they have the molecular hydrogen, they might notice major things going on with their health and challenges that they used to have. They might be saying, and, hey, doctor, what do you think I should do here? I think my blood pressure is going too low. What do you think about how much medicine I'm taking or my blood sugar? So they can see major, major changes from changing their hydration. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned an average person should take about 90 ounces of pure water every single day. And obviously you cautioned us that too much water can really flush down the good minerals for our body. And uh, the short term benefits, as you mentioned, is within the same day or within a few days, you will notice a boost in your energy levels and I'm sure that a lot of you are looking for that boost in energy because you have your goals, you have your vision, you might be doing your job or your business and I myself have noticed sometimes I have really high energy levels during the morning and the afternoon and towards the evening, sometimes the energy goes down. So as you mentioned, having the right good quality water, especially if you can have dissolved hydrogen within that, that's really going to help boost our energies. Is that correct? Yes. One little tweak on the weight. If a person weighed 190, they they might go for divide that in half of half of that in um, ounces of water per day. But if someone weighs only 120, they might go for 60 ounces of water per day. So about half your body weight in ounces per day is the standard guideline. Got it. So you have shared some really incredible insights about hydration and the importance of drinking good quality water. And I'm sure you've transformed numerous lives over the years. So is it a client healing story that you'd like to share with us? Yeah, you know, one thing readily comes to mind. It's not related to hydration. But I had a little a friend, she brought her daughter and her grandson into my home. And this little boy was four and a half and he had extreme breathing problems. He had been diagnosed with asthma and was having, the mother said, about three attacks per day. She actually put this in writing. And there was a nutrient technology that's uh, used very commonly in Mexico, but almost no one knows about it in America. So I studied that very thoroughly and got a guru doctor of that involved. And this little boy, Boy, the mother called me the next day and told me the shocking results that happened to him the very first day, the second day, the third day. And then she started texting me week after week, month after month, and finally texted me again after a year the, how her son was like still in phenomenal health. So it's really so heartwarming when I see the three generations involved and then they started telling other people, hey, you don't have to live with all these problems and keep looking for the next medication or the next surgery. There are alternative things that you can do. Mm -hmm. So, if, you know, we're talking about being inspired here today. And one beautiful thing is be aware that even if you encounter someone or you yourself have a situation that you feel like nothing can be done to help, there is so much brilliant technology out there and awareness. Sometimes we're causing the problem ourselves. Sometimes it can be such a simple change like hydration, changing your diet, something very simple. And it's like a little ripple effect, like hitting the road dominoes. You hit the first one and things just start happening really beautifully. Uh, with very little effort. So that four and a half year old, I, I think I'll forever remember him. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for sharing that inspiring story. So for somebody listening to the show right now who really wants to change their water drinking habits and get some goodness of the dissolved hydrogen in their water, what advice do you have for this person? Is there a type of filter that you'd like to recommend? Yes. The technology that creates molecular hydrogen and also purifies water is called ionizer technology. And that's been around for about 40 years. In fact, over in countries 
countries like Korea and um, Japan, they're actually classified as medical devices because the doctors over there so many years ago realized people are taking this water from this type of technology and th- their blood sugar is changing, their blood pressure is changing, their cholesterol is changing, <laughs> all these different things. So they actually use it as a medical tool over there. It's not classified as that in the United States, but the benefits are still the same. And what's kind of interesting is having been around for about 40 years, there's different approaches of how to implement ionizer technologies. And I'm really cautioning folks, don't just jump at the first ionizer technology you encounter because some of them, I believe, are actually can be harmful to people Mm -hmm. and they're misrepresenting how you really get healthy using these machines. Some of them you have to keep cleaning and cleaning or the molecular hydrogen will dissolve, will escape into the air instead of getting dissolved in the water. And some of them are actually inserting substances into the water. So my suggestion there would be to, I'd be happy. I always teach and coach free. Contact me to help you decide. And some people, AJ, they'll say, Julie, I really, at the moment, I really don't want any technology in my home, even though it's a little machine sitting by my sink, maybe. And what I say to them is no problem. Just point me at a business near you, like a doctor's office, a chiropractor, an acupuncturist, or maybe a health food store, a, a beauty salon, a fitness center. And then let's put a simple little machine in their business and you can bring your empty glass gallon jugs and fill them up and take them home. So Mm -hmm. that would be, I'd love to have those AJ everywhere. Excellent ionizers. They will purify. I like the kind that keeps the natural minerals. I like the kind that you never have to clean because it it's patented, so it won't build up junk inside that, that prevents the molecular hydrogen. So there's really different approaches. There's an approach where they don't throw substances into your water. It's a, a natural approach. So definitely there's quite a variety, and I'd love to help give you some free advice on why one is better than another. Awesome. So action takers, wait till the end of the show. We're going to give the information about how you can reach out to Julie and seek some guidance, get some advice, get some tips on how to change your water drinking habits. And Julie, thanks a lot for sharing these insights. And as I always mentioned that making a change in a person's life can be overwhelming sometimes, but making small changes every single day can help us really build that momentum and rush towards our goals. So is there a health tip that you'd like to share with our audience that can be implemented immediately? Yes. One health tip is to switch off your plastic bottle water. If you are a consumer of that, switch over to whatever the purest tap water that you can find. There actually are some good molecular hydrogen tablets, too, that you can put in the purest water you can find and try to increase your water and decrease the sodas or eliminate them, if you're willing, the sodas and the uh, coffees. If you are going to continue to drink some coffee, I'd, I'd do organic. But a lot of these regular iced tea kind of things you get in the restaurants and the sodas have a very dehydrating effect, mm-hmm. believe it or not. So now you're fighting against that. So that would be my top thing is to improve your hydration, however you can do it. That would be number one. And also choose the healthiest foods you can choose and chew your food super thoroughly, like 25 to 40 chews so that the food you're eating is liquid before you even swallow it. Well, thanks a lot for those powerful tips. I'm going to add them to the show notes for sure. Now, adversity has the effect of eliciting talents, which in prosperous circumstances would have lain dormant. Now, this is a profound quote by the Roman poet Horace. And what I like about this quote, action takers, is the assumption that all of us have some talents within, but there is no use of a talent if it's hidden deep within us. If you're so comfortable that we don't stretch, or if you don't believe in pushing beyond our comfort zones, adversity. Adversity has that effect. Adversity has the effect of shaking us from our zombie-like state and making us search for our talents from within. So Julie, take us back to a time when you faced a major challenge. How did you approach your situation and then how did you overcome it? Well, I guess the biggest adversity was when I was told I had the two sets of abnormal cells. I'm going to be getting cancer, they told me, and there was nothing I could do to prevent it. And so it was a prayer that inspired me (laughs) to find natural health the very next day. And so much remarkable changes occurred that even I couldn't believe it. Even my husband couldn't believe what was happening. In fact, one funny thing that happened during that situation was we had 22-year-old brother cats at that 
that time that we had since they were new. And our adult daughter had moved back in with us. And my husband's like, what did you do to the cats? He said, they're not sneezing all over anymore. They're not limping like they've got arthritis or something. Mm -hmm. You know, they can jump up on your lap now instead of you having to pick them up. And I said, I didn't do anything. And so he figured out he better ask our daughter. <laughs> and she said, oh, I took some of those little herb things and I mashed the tablet with the back of a spoon and I mixed it in with their food and it had only been a week. So she was giving nutrition to the cats and the cat's bodies were saying, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and the majority of what was in those little vitamins was fruits and vegetables. So it was like, oh my gosh. So he said, I thought most of those little health improvements you were talking about yourself, Julie, were in your head, but it's not in the cat's heads. Give mm -hmm. me some of those things. <laughs> So it was really funny, but that really was the biggest thing that inspired me. And that's what I want to impart with you folks is that really what's key, what I really learned there that I want to share with you is you and only you are responsible for your health, not your doctors, not your spouse, not your adult children. You are responsible. So if a doctor says, Julie, you got to come back in four months to start treatments early. And then my friend said, don't go back in four months. It's your decision. This didn't happen happen overnight, give it six months. And when you go back, take all these nutrients. She gave me a whole big pile of them. And she said, take lots of them. I think you'll be happy with your results. So that is very inspiring to know that number one, you are responsible for your health and you can switch doctors. They're advisors. They're not in charge of your decisions. And then secondly, so many choices are out there that you are not currently aware of, but you can find wellness educators and coaches like myself that can say, mm, guess what? Dr. So-and-so over here, they specialize in exactly what your health goal is. So that was probably the main thing. So looking back now, maybe just one sentence, what is it one major life lesson that our listeners can take away from your story? The one sentence would be, be aware and empowered about your health and take it in a positive direction. You can do it. So they mentioned that you were going to have cancer and that there was nothing that you could do about it. And when you heard that, it sort of shook you and it made you go on a journey to search, to learn and to find out how to heal yourself. And that action, that change inspired your husband as well, because you didn't just tell him, you showed him. So I think that's a really inspiring story. So thanks a lot for sharing. Now, action takers, while it's important to go beyond your comfort zone and test yourself, just taking action might not help. You'll need to know why. You need to know what direction you're heading toward. You need to spend some time thinking about your vision and your purpose, because when you find that direction, when you're aligned with your direction, you'll be able to withstand a lot more challenges because as Friedrich Nietzsche said, he who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. So Julie, for those who listened to your story and are really curious to know more about you, have you found your life's purpose? And if yes, what is your life's purpose? Absolutely, AJ. My purpose is to educate and empower as many people as possible. And I know that is my purpose. And I'm one of the few people that's lucky that I really don't have to work. I could be out there playing and we do all kind of crazy stuff like motorcycles and go fast boats and off-road jeeping and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is my purpose. And I really feel like um, because I find the well-kept secrets in the world, like that nutrient technology that helped a little four and a half year old, like this unbelievable hydration technology, I've actually found the best hydration technology on the planet, bar none. And it has extras in it that really knocked me right off my chair. They were so good. I like to introduce those to wellness professionals. So I specialize that if I can show doctors or fit fitness center owners or beauty center owners, if I can show those kind of people tools like the hydration, like the nutrients that help the little boy, then when their customers or patients come in their door saying, hey, doc, you know, what do you think I should do? Now those doctors or fitness or wellness people can say, hey, got the best hydration approach available or hey, we've got some nutrients that can help you with your goals. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. My purpose is to get leverage 
by working through professionals, not just educating consumers, I wouldn't touch enough lives that way. So I really specialize in trying to also get out to the professionals around the world. So looking back now, was there ever a particular moment, like a magical moment beyond which you were fully confident that this was a path that you were going to take? Take us to that very moment. Yeah, that very moment when my friend She wanted to ride in my go fast boat right after I was told I was definitely they believed I was going to be getting cancer and there was nothing they can do to prevent it. And it was imperative. They told me that I come back in four months to start treatments early. And when she said, Julie, this did not happen overnight. Take these boatloads of nutrients for six months and then go back. And I knew that that was a turning point for me, that that was my hook that to survive, I had to make this thing work and fully understand it. And by golly, I knew right from the beginning that if this was going to work, this was going to be payback time that I had to get the word out to everyone else. So right before that, AJ, something interesting happened. We were sitting around and I told my husband, I said, you know, we have all this training that we got from the big communications company. We have all this experience. We have all these talents between the two of us. And yet all we do is play on the motorcycles and the boats and the this and that. And isn't there more to life than playing? And and actually he said, well, sounds good to me. <laughs> but that was the purpose that I was seeking. And it turns out that I actually have a knack for teaching people wellness and so much more than my knack for doing computer work. <laughs> so that was the moment right there. Wonderful. And thanks a lot for sharing that moment. And when you said that, what comes to my mind is uh, what Steve Jobs said, something along the lines of you can't join the dots looking forward. You can only join the dots looking back. And uh, action taker, sometimes you might be doing something in your life at this point and your vision is not this. You want to get somewhere else. You might want to be a health coach or you want to be a healer or you want to be a teacher or whatnot. That's your vision. But whatever you're doing right now, don't feel as if it's a waste of time or your life. Do whatever you're doing. Keep the vision in mind. And as you reach your vision, you'll realize that whatever you did in the past, maybe that's helped you in some way or the other. Because if you think about it, even Steve Jobs did some calligraphy class. But once he started Apple, he realized that that calligraphy class really helped him make Apple products much more user intuitive much more beautiful and that's really helped take Apple to a completely new level. So thanks a lot, Julie, for your wonderful wisdom. And with that, we come to today's final round, which is a rapid fire round, also known as the wisdom round. Are you ready? I'm ready. So diving back into your memories, what is the best advice that you've ever received? The best advice, the most valuable that led to all this was when my friend told me, don't do what I was told by the doctors. Don't go back in four months. And that really changed my whole life. And as my husband and I look back on what happened, I was terrified I was going to get cancer and die. And we realize now that if I had not had that scare and pursued and learned about wellness, we'd both probably be dead by now because he encountered a situation after that. And because of my knowledge and connections, he chose, you know, I'm going to do it the natural way. And then there have been ripple effects. It's kind of like you throw a rock in the water and then the the ripples reach all the way to the other side. Because I had that scare, it seemed negative at the time. And all of us get negative things happening. Always look for the bright side of this Someday we're going to look back and say it's a good thing that happened. I can't tell you how many people, based on what I learned, had babies after having a whole bunch of miscarriages or were told you probably won't live past this many months and they're still super healthy to this day. So the ripple effect from doing that is really, um, it's a joy. So habits can either make you or they can break you. So name a personal habit that keeps you strong. Well, it's kind of interesting. I have a crazy little machine in my house called a whole body vibration machine. And the Russian cosmonauts used it 40 years ago to stay in space twice as long as American astronauts because the kind that go up, down, left and right, you stand on it. You can do different things, twisting and bending and sitting. It goes up, down, left, right, frequency tuned to simulate walking. So it's working almost every muscle in the body. And I do that. Actually, I do a little bit in the morning. 
10 minutes, 10 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes in the evening. And it is phenomenal because the last two minutes, AJ, you put your feet together and you put the speed up higher and it helps drain the lymph system, which is our little liquid floating around our body to get rid of toxins. It drains the lymph and the lactic acid. So a lot of people get out of discomfort when they use these. So that's a great little tool that I use right here in my home. Awesome. So, Judy, what's your morning ritual like? Well, it's kind of funny because I told you I didn't have to work. So the first couple hours in the morning, I sit with my husband and my puppy, and he obviously doesn't work, although our acre and a half keeps him quite busy in all the vehicles and toys we have. But we sit there and talk and enjoy each other and the puppy, and he makes me some herbal tea and, you know, do my little vibration thing, and uh, then I make him a little shake. He'd rather take one little shake in the morning than change his diet a whole bunch, so that's that's, that's cool. He's at his age. It's amazing. He's not diagnosed with anything. So that's my morning ritual. And when I start by doing family time and relax time, it makes the whole day go better. Awesome. Now, if you could recommend a book for our listeners, what would it be? There's a great book called Your Body's Many Cries for Water. You are not sick. You're thirsty. And this is a medical doctor, Batman Gellage, who treated patients with serious disease and terminal illnesses, primarily with water for over 20 years. So read that book because it will open your eyes that just about everything important inside the body, even the little brain waves, all requires water. So it's simple. And it will get you started on the journey. Like you said in the beginning, AJ, let's take one little step to get started. So really quickly, for the benefit of our listeners, could you repeat the name of the book? Your Body's Many Cries for Water. Awesome. I'm going to have that linked up in the show notes. And action takers, the show notes can be viewed by visiting our website, my 7 slash 90. That's my 7 slash 90. And if you've had some key takeaways from this episode, share the love by sharing this episode with your friends and family over social media, the link that you would need is my 7 slash 90. So Julie, thanks a ton for sharing your wisdom on our show today. Before you go, tell us one thing that you are totally grateful for and also tell us the best way we can learn more about you online. I am totally grateful for my family and my health. And because I learn and I teach, I am confident that I will live unless it's from an accident like a car accident. I am confident because I now understand about wellness, how you give the body what it needs and then listen to it. If you're getting pain or you can't sleep or different things like that, or you're having a burning when you eat, your body's talking to you. I'm confident I will be healthy very, very long term. And I think there's a good chance I'll live to 120 years old. So the best way to get in touch with me and see the other things I'm doing, because I bring wellness education to Florida is another thing I do where people can become certified wellness coaches. And they do have that in some other states is check out my website. The short name for it is wow. That stands for we offer wellness w-o-w dash simplified s-i-m-p-l-i-f-i-e-d dot com. Would you like me to share my phone and and email address on here as well, AJ? Sure. Okay. My phone is 813-695-4372. And I was a wellness coach for years before I realized that those last four digits spell herb, H-E-R-B. <laughs> so tell me that wasn't meant to be. <laughs> And my email address is Julie, J-U-L-I-E, C-N-H-P, Certified Natural Health Professional at gmail.com. So I would love to speak to groups. We can do sessions in, in any way, electronic or in person if you're in Florida. I just want to help get the word out. So tell holistic practitioners or open-minded regular doctors can put a nice water technology in their office and help their patients just by making the water available and they're helping their employees at the same time. So that's what you guys can do for me is get the word out. And I'm teaching actually during this live recording, I teach at health food stores with a phone in my ear. So we have dial in access so you can listen from anywhere in the world to my classes. The one I'm doing tomorrow night, AJ, is digestion, pH balancing and healthy choices. So get the word out and connect anybody you wish, practitioners or individuals to me and I will help them any way I can. Wonderful. So we'll have your number and your email address as well in the show notes so that somebody who wants to make this change in their life can reach out to you for tips, for advice and for learning more about how 
something as simple as water can change their life so julie thank you so much for coming on our show talking to us about the importance of hydration and taking us one step closer to a human revolution thank you for having me aj and thank you listeners for taking the time of changing your own life and then pay it forward and tell other people to listen and learn from the shows that aj's doing you are listening to my seven chakras Go to my S-E-V-E-N chakras.com. Download your free gift, get inspired, and take action. Transform your life today.